video, we're gonna show you what need to be tapered prior to bending the fuselage. You have your tail door. You have a taper here and a taper here, per the plans. Oil cooler door, you have a taper here on the edge. Your seat, you got a taper here and a taper here. This is eight degrees taper on both sides. I use a table saw to do this. You can use a belt sander. I just have a fixture on my table so I put this in and run it through an eight degree cut. Your fuselage side. On the front, you have a 10 degree angle you got to cut here. On the back of the fuselage, you have a 20 degree angle you have to cut or sand. I sand mine. We're going to start show you how to steam bend the fuselage sides. What we need to do, we're going to steam this section here and this section here on the inside first. This dado here is where the seat back goes. Then you move it and you bend or steam this area with a steam iron. Then we're going to put it on our bending fixture. Steam here and steam here with weight on either end. If you haven't seen the video on our building fixtures, go back and look at that. But all the instructions for those are on the plans. So you'll need to make that from your scrap wood. This piece has been specifically cut thin so it was not, it's not going to take very long to bend it. Usually to take a fuselage side, it may take five minutes. It may take 20 minutes to bend it, but it will bend. If you don't get it to bend in that time, what I've done, take a razor knife and cut some slots going vertically here in this cut. That will help bending the fuselage a little bit faster. So that's what we're going to do now. Make sure you steam, or the taper is cut on both ends of the fuselage, and these are ready to be watered. Make sure you have your bending fixture here that you've built off the plans from scrap wood. Your doublers and dowels need to be on here. Make sure all the dowels are in on the Mustang. You're going to need a good steam iron. You're going to need a C-clamp, a couple jugs of water, an old rag. Out of your hardware kit, you get two Number six by three quarter inch pan head screws you're gonna need, and a screwdriver gun. That's what you need to steam. So we're gonna go ahead and start steaming. You wanna, I always wet the seat back first. Set the rag down in there. Wet your rag, keep your rag wet at all times. Make sure your iron is an old one. Believe me, it does get hot, so do not let a child do this. It will burn you. You want to get down into that seat back dado real good with your iron. You want to do this dado area approximately five minutes on the inside. Keep moving your iron around. Make sure you have it on steam, because I've done that before with not on steam and it doesn't do nothing. Except get hot and burn your rag. Once this is done for about five minutes, go ahead and do this front area here. Same thing, wet it, put your iron on there, let it sit for five minutes in this area where the forward saw cuts are. You're gonna have a bend in that area too. You're also gonna need some scraps of wood. I use the uh, oil cooler door doublers for this next step. You're going to need two smaller clamps to use. I'll show you what these are going to be for when we start bending. Remember this fuselage side is cut deep in this area and it will bend rather quickly. 
It usually takes 5 to 15 to 20 minutes to bend the fuselage side. <clears throat> I use a gallon jug of water for putting on the back when it's in the fuselage jig. So, just keep everything nice and wet. It's hard to get down into this one, but this is not much of a bend here on the front. <coughs> if you want, you can make two fuselage fixtures, bending fixtures, and then bend them both at one time. So you don't have to wait for two days to bend both sides. Once it gets bent, you want to wait overnight before you take it out of this fixture. Okay, so we're going to stop here and I'm going to flip it over on the fuselage bending jig. <coughs> Got to get this situated. You want to put this top section here right into the seat back like that. So it's going to sit on there just like this. Put your rag back here and start steaming while you get this situated here. Okay, you take a little piece here. If you don't use this, this oil door here, oil cooler door on the real airplane, will bend up like this. And then it makes it look ugly. So what I do, I take one of these clamps, clamp it, there, and I clamp it here. So what's going to happen, this piece is going to keep this oil cooler door parallel with the fuselage. Okay, she's going to ste start steaming here. You want to take your couple screws Put a couple screws just so it starts to come through the bottom in a couple of these holes. <clears throat> then at the nose, you can bend this down. Just to hold the nose down like that. Okay. Just keep this going. It's not going to take much pressure on this one to put it down. So I'm going to put this jug of water on here and it's going to bend fairly quickly. Hopefully it doesn't break. I'm holding up on the water jug so... Again it takes this about 5 to 20 minutes to bend the aft section of the fuselage. You can see now, just with this half a gallon of water, it's about halfway bent. It just depends on how the plywood is cut, how the inner plies of the plywood are put together when they're building the plywood. You want to keep everything nice and wet. This is sort of a two-man job here, but I'm doing it. Usually you can just let your hand go off the, off the water jug and it'll go down by itself. <clears throat> See that's already on the table. Keep that there. Screw this into your table. So you're done on that end. And again this fuselage side has been cut thin on the seat back dado here so it doesn't take so long to show how to bend it. Okay, now we go to the front. Put your rag there again. I always got to find out where that bend is. But it's about that area right there. You don't have to move the iron very much. My iron's just about wide enough for the plywood there. Start screwing this down, slowly. Okay. 
And this is a nice good bend back here. Nice smooth bend. If you bend it too fast, you put too much weight on it, you'll hear a cracking sound. Most of the time that's good, but I've had sometimes it'll crack this outer ply here. You might as well call us up and we'll get you another fuselage side. Okay, continue with the front. Okay, that's down. You're done with that. I usually take this off of steam, dry your wood out a little bit. If you have another bending fixture, you go ahead and start bending your other fuselage side. The time will usually take five to 20 minutes to bend a fuselage side. Like I said, this side has been specially cut, so it doesn't, it didn't take that long. It took maybe a minute, but we got this dado cut pretty thin. But it's the same principle. What I start out, I would just go ahead and make some scores on the inside of this and help you out so that water will get down in there and the steam will get down into that dado cut and heap you, or help you to bend it rather quickly. I've seen it take 30 minutes, but usually five to 15 to 20 minutes, you'll have a side bent like this. And going slow is the key. Don't rush this section. This is an important part of the build. Once you get this bent like this, you leave it sit overnight. Let it dry. Yes, you will have some spring back in the morning. It'll probably pop up here about an inch. And that's okay. It, you'll have plenty of room to pull this in or plenty of time to pull this in when you're building the airplane. Now when you get done steaming, this is what it's going to look like. I'll hold it up. So you have a, ax or a picture of how it's bent. You have a slight bend here in the front and a larger bend here in the back. And that's what it looks like. Okay guys, thank you for watching all our videos we've done so far. We are gonna be doing more videos on the assembly of the Mustang. So please again watch the tools and the bending fixture or building fixtures that we recommend. So again, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.